What's up everybody? This is Nelson Sentry and today we have a special episode with a special person, Alexander. He's an ultra runner and Alexander just got back from Italy with a world record in his hands. In 24 hours he ran 198 miles. That's almost 320 kilometers. This is insane. And I want you to take inspiration from him. In this episode, we're going to discuss topics like what to say to yourself when you are at your lowest point in your race, what's passion for him, and how you can transform his mindset into your own business or workout routine. So stay tuned and let's listen to what Alexander has to say. <music> Hey Alexander. Hi. First things first, I wanted to congratulate you with the world record. Thank you. I was watching you on the Facebook and your team updates us in I think every 3 hours and uh, it was amazing to watch and how was the preparation for this event looks like for you? Oh. So preparation begins from I think 2015 yeah. so my mileage my results uh, grow up little by little so one day and I understood that I, I can beat a world record so it was first first time it was uh, last year uh, 2020 first yeah. so I beat a world record his was 303 kilometers with meters yeah the, in Poland I beat it it was 309 kilometers with meters I don't remember meters mm -hmm. so this time in the European Championship uh, preparing was very good so I felt very good and uh, and now uh, the, the result is 319 kilometers in yeah. miles it will be about 198 mi miles. miles yeah yeah, yeah. when you're preparing for it uh, how many times a day did you eat? Uh, so my usually day when I'm preparing for a race, uh, it's wake up, yeah. drink a coffee, and uh, okay. first training, it's about 40, 50 kilometers. Yeah. So then I go back, eat, mm -hmm. eat, sleep, uh, second tra training, uh, yeah. it might be gym. Mm -hmm. so, so after gym, I come back, eat, a little rest and the set training it's uh, about recovery training about uh, 10 20 kilometers 20. so all my days like uh, eat sleep run repeat <laughs> and every day is the yeah. same yeah, yeah yeah and what was the best food or maybe drink that helped you to complete this challenge so uh, during the race i used m all I can say all tr trash food. Uh, for example, uh, chocolate bars, chips, <laughs> cookies, sandwiches, cola. So all stuff who had junk food. Yeah. Junk food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah junk food. <laughs> so all 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 stuff who have m many calories in in small small sizes. Oh. Uh, in all of healthy food, I can uh, say about. Bananas, maybe oranges, yeah. uh, maybe isotonic drinks, uh, gels, oh, okay. and so on. Oh, did you sleep last night before the run? Oh, before no. the run, it was uh, quite a good night. Mm -hmm. But usually, I, of course, you thinking about about the race. You can sleep normally, yeah. but it's normal, normal, normal uh, situation before the race. Oh, and how was the morning? In that day, that specific <laughs> day, you <laughs> broke the world record. Did you eat something? Did you stretch or anything? Uh, so I can explain about uh, 24 hours race. Yeah. So many people don't know how it's how it's look like. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> it's uh, usually it's a track la lap about one or two kilometers mm -hmm. somewhere in the park. If it uh, European or World Championship, every country get gets a tent uh, where where you can put everything what you need. For example, food, uh, yeah. jackets, wear, uh, shoes, and so on. 
<laughs> so you you need to have a good supporter because without supporter you can you can uh, show a good result because supporters uh, uh, makes you make your food for example gives you everything because you while running you don't stop yeah just run run uh, all all the day uh, I had and last time I had just one stop to go to toilet with big deals yeah <laughs> so it's like like formula one you know 68 seconds and all last uh, time I, I just run yeah, yeah, yeah. You just uh, only one time only one, yes only if you time. want to pee you, you you can just take a bottle do your your deals and throw <laughs> so it's, you eat drink while you're running don't stop uh, every 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 time you you run man, that's crazy when i saw four minutes and 30 seconds per kilometer how did you kept all that speed so it was average speed uh, in the in the beginning i was i yeah. ran ran faster so pace was uh, about four but it was bad tactics for me because it was too too fast after 10 or eight hours of running i understand that it will be very hard it's it's too fast for me i need to go down yeah. uh, so my pace was down 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 uh, when left about four five uh, hours before the end yeah my pace go down until five so average four and thirty doesn't say about race so it was like down 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 yeah, yeah. and every time it's you feel worse and worse and worse <laughs> worse yeah yeah you're so mentally strong for sure <laughs> and what you are saying to yourself when you're running that 24 hours so I, d I don't say that I'm very strong mentally because <laughs> I'm suffering every time. But, yeah. it, but I, I know it's my choice. I, I know yeah. it will be painful, it will be t very tiredness and yeah. I will suffering. So it's my, my job. Yeah, 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 for sure. How did you feel after this race? Like what pains was? And so before the b before the race when on training you're thinking about if if will be good if i break bro broke the record what i say what i shouting uh, hands up and so on yeah, yeah 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 but after finish you feel absolutely empty so no emotion just just want to relax everything all all legs are in painful mm -hmm. uh, just satisfaction i think and mm -hmm. satisfaction of that your job is over now you can relax they post a video of you uh, the people are screaming and applauding at you that was a very heart heartwarming video yeah, yeah. to watch it was amazing amazing yeah. moments yes uh, it was uh, all, all all emotions uh, was very good yes yeah, yeah did you celebrate it after the race um uh, yes about about two or three days we left on the in, in the italy yeah. with my 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 uh, brother and father who yeah. supports me on the race yeah. we, we, we had little traveling uh, in in north north uh, italy it was very beautiful so we, it was uh, celebrating <laughs> of yeah, yeah, victory yeah. So oh yes. okay do you think 198 miles is a limit for a human being oh, or, or no, no 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 no, no? Absolutely no. I think people can do more and more, and I feel that I don't uh, show my maximum. Yeah. I need to run again next year. Maybe, maybe it will be in World Championship in Taiwan in December next year. Nice. But but maybe maybe I will run somewhere somewhere in the small um, races because if you race in biggest biggest uh, championships yeah. for example world or uh, european there are so many people who run there it's uh, too difficult to, to to show your best result because uh, so many people for example now we had uh, lap was about one mile mm -hmm. and people was more than 300 so oh. you understand too many people you need to run like this yeah, 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 and what shoes did you wear in that ultra marathon? Now, now I prefer uh, Nike Alpha Fly. Alpha Fly. Alpha yeah. Fly. Yes, it's very good it suits for me. But some people say it's not good for them. But but I feel it's very good for me. 
Okay, and you have a contract with Nike? Yes, I have a contract with Nike, national Nike, not uh, all over the world. Yeah, yeah. Just, in just national, Lithuanian. In yes. Li- Lithuanian, yeah. And uh, everybody is saying that shoes matter the most. And what is your opinion on this topic? Because when in uh, half a marathon, shoes doesn't do that effect, you know? I, I think opinion? yeah, technology is now better than than uh, last uh, last uh, for example uh, twenty years. Yeah. But but uh, every every brand now have uh, good shoes. They help yeah. to do best results. So yes, of course, uh, shoes gives uh, to sportsmen some some boost to your result. But yeah. but I feel. Maybe a little. Mm, I don't know how many seconds you can win with shoes and without uh, good shoes. It's uh, a bare uh, minimum, yeah, 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 for yeah. seconds, yeah. And what about the injuries? D- did you have them in your life as a racer? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Every yeah. year I had something, but now I work with a good physiotherapist who mm. helps me uh, avoid those injuries. So I, I very sa- I want to say say thank you for him. Yeah, 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 in Lithuania, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 very good, very good. And uh, I saw you train in Kenya with the Kapchogi. Uh, <laughs> how was the experience in there? Oh, it's a absolutely good experience in Kenya and camp because the so many top runners. Uh, they have only one stadium, so yeah. and Tuesdays and Thursdays they comes to stadium to go to do fast sessions and it's very beautiful to see hundreds of people on one time running around yeah. the stadium so when Kipchoge goes uh, training there so many people after after training waiting for him and want to to take uh, his autograph autograph and take <laughs> a selfie yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. after training Kipchoge yeah. gives everyone aut- autographs uh, and yeah. do selfies so I see in your in his eyes it's very tired for for uh, attention. So yeah, 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 yeah. they wanted to go home, but the row of people who wants to take a selfie, stay Kipchoge, stay, stay. <laughs> Everybody yeah, want to yeah, take yeah. a selfie yeah. of Kipchoge. Yeah. Right? Let's let's be real. But why so many people are running in Kenya? Because it's very good condition. There are yeah. high altitude. It's yeah. about 2,000 2, meters uh, up of uh, several sea level. Yeah. Uh, little less of oxygen, so your body prepare to to do. So there are so many chemical reactions who yeah. gives you boost your results. So all world world uh, go to Kenya. Because in Europe, in, in the winter, for example, you can run uh, good. So it's one, th- one thing. Other thing, it's a very big concurrence between Kenyan guys because thousand people running. Because running is a one of, of, of ways to, to, to get money because uh, yeah. uh, this, this uh, country is, uh, I think, poor. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're running like animals. Just for, for yeah, life. Just for, for the life, life. to yeah. escape the Kenya, maybe, in yeah, my yeah. opinion. And some people are complaining that they don't have a time to run. And then they have a full-time job. What advice do you have for them to start running? Uh, it all saying, I can't, I can't, it's just in your mind. You can, yeah. you can find everything in your life because... Before 2019, I had a job. I work yeah. all, all job and run and run. And 2019, I won world championship of 24 hours. So, so everything is, is impossible. Yeah, everything is possible. Okay, so now let's talk about your childhood. I saw you. You were taking a kayaking classes. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Yeah, I was in Yas. I was kayaker. Yeah. Mm, it's printer because my father is a coach I had no mm-hmm. race <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah you have to <laughs> yeah I began from 
14, 13 years maybe to 25. So it's a big, big, big part of my life because yeah. it was kayaking. I was uh, mostly good in the kayaking in the years. I was yeah. a uh, Lithuanian champion. Mm -hmm. I, I raced in world championships when I came to adults uh, group. So my resu results was not very good. Mm -hmm. So I got injury in yeah. 2005 and end yeah. with sport. Yeah, yeah. So I get a job, uh, began uh, easy life, a lot of uh, alcohol, cigarettes, uh, a lot of junk food. So one day I understand that my weight is uh, 100 kilograms it's about 220 uh, um, how it's english uh, lbs lbs yeah. yes yeah. yes so i decided to change my life because it's uh, i can't s watch my 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 face in, in the mirrors <laughs> mm -hmm. or photo uh, photos so yeah. i decided to 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 run because it's easier way to to lose the weight mm -hmm. and after a few months of running Mm, I raced in half marathon and after mm. that I understood that not inst interesting just running I want yeah. to I n want to see I want to find a goal a motivation to run when I walk in <coughs> in the park yeah. in Lithuania uh, I uh, found invitation f to 100 kilometers championship Lithuanian championship yeah. so I decided it will be my goal. I want to finish that that thing. It was 2013. Yeah. Uh, I want. I began preparing for this race. Of course, uh, uh, after the race, I finished that that race. But after the race, I can't wa walk about two, one or two weeks. Oh, but crazy. I was <laughs> was so happy because I did a big job. Yeah. Uh, it's mentally, it's very very good for me. It was very good for me. Maybe from this time, I am loved in ultra running. So. After that, after 2013, between uh, until 2019, yeah. it was seven years. I won a world championship in 24 oh, hours. That's very very good. When did you really start loving the sport? Like you were running in Vilnius maybe or Kenya, and you like, man, I love this game. You know. <laughs> so actually i want to say i hate this game <laughs> for real <laughs> yeah maybe preparing is very very interesting very yeah. good for me but i hate races because i know it will be painful uh, suffering and so on yeah. but maybe preparing i love preparing because you you see your body is growing up your results growing up uh, your body get fit fitter than it was so very good mm -hmm. yeah emotionally very, very good yeah for me okay. but uh, after I think I am in love in this sport maybe in 2013 when I finished first my 100. Oh, okay. In uh, ultra marathons, every runner has a helper and uh, your helper is your brother, yeah? Yeah, usually my brother goes take his leave in other country in, in Denmark. Yeah. So every time before the race, he take a holidays and and go with me to help me because without like i said without supporting it's it's very hard to to run yeah it's very good that you have a great relationship with your brother yeah. i like that so much okay we're back so uh, can you tell us more about the helper in ultra marathons so it must be Mostly it must be a good, 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 not good, but runner, ultra runner, because he knows everything about, about uh, ultra races. Yeah. And he knows that he needs to, after, after half of the race, he needs to, to help you, because when you run, for example, 24 hours, and yeah. after 12 hours, you don't understand what you need to say. For example, your mind is uh, going like, uh, like crazy, you know, you, you can say uh, correctly what you want. He, he needs to yeah. understand what you need now. He needs to calculate your calories, for example, or water, uh, liquids, uh, because it's very, very important to, to have every time to eat, because without eating, you will stop 
for my plants for example i take 400 kilocalories uh, per hour it must be chocolate nice. bars like i said everything uh, okay. uh, gels uh, isotonic drinks and so on yeah. i i take uh, 500 milliliters of liquids okay and this support and must calculate everything because because overdose is not good too yeah, yeah. i fully understand uh, everything is good you are running and everything but what you're doing in your life except running <laughs> nothing <laughs> i want to say nothing more <laughs> i'm joking so yeah. of course uh, i have a wife yeah. we married we child free so we yeah. we like to traveling maybe watch a movies my best mm, hobby i think it's uh playing video games so mm -hmm. i'm like gamer <laughs> gamer <laughs> nice yeah, yeah. Mm, so it's my 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 hobby best hobby because uh, I want to, after after the race, yeah. I say to to myself, if I will be, will be if, if will be a good result, I will yeah. buy a PlayStation Five. But <laughs> still, still have no money to to, 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 <laughs> to buy it. To buy it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but what's the challenge for you? Will be next. <clears throat> I want to. I, I I understand that I didn't show my maximum on twenty four hours, so yeah. I want to concentrate concentrate on this distance yeah maybe i'll take a shorter one next year in okay. our plan to run marathon about yeah. february then 100 then begin preparing for 24 hours so i think 24 hours it will be main 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 race on the 2023 20, oh okay I know you have a Patreon. Uh, what videos do you upload there? <coughs> I have a Contrib. Mm, I I put there mostly my training because yeah. be before I put everything in Strava, so all my preparation for 2022 20, there in Strava you can find in Strava. But yeah. after after when I get a Contrib, uh, little by little we I wanted to invite people to, to there because I need to it's preparation it's very very cost big money yeah so I, for sure I, I want to say join for me it's, it's not big price it's from two two euros to to the nine yeah. maximum it's nine euros per month so it's not much yeah. I think I show everything all my trainings and yeah. put maybe videos about uh, overall week week uh, my job uh, and so on yeah yeah and you have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, yes. It's a YouTube channel. It's uh, named Ultra Runner Alexander Sorokin. It's easy to find. Uh, there are some videos, some 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 stuff. Yes. Yeah. So I will leave everything down in the description. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Alexander, for coming here. I wanted to shake your hand. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you took some something from it. And see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.